The secret's out on the threat of hacking. Proofpoint works to defend your inbox, data, and social interaction. Can it defend itself in a fight for clients? We know that cybersecurity is one of the great secular growth themes of our time. And after falling into a rut roughly a year ago, these stocks have gained real momentum, as they should. Take Proofpoint, PFPT, the next generation security and compliance company with a cloud-based platform that helps protect its clients against advanced cyber attacks via email, social media, mobile apps. Now, late last month, Proofpoint reported some strong results. Stocks sold off 5% on the news, probably because it had simply run up so much going into the numbers. Since then, though, it's come roaring back. And I feel like it could be a buy into any weakness if you ever get any. Don't take it from me, though. Let's check in with Gary Steele, the CEO of Proofpoint, find out more about his company, what it's up to. Mr. Steele, welcome back to Man Money. Thanks so much. Great to be here. All right, I got to take it. When I I read your stuff, I get scared. And and let's just start with a speech that you gave this week. You say, um, not to make a political statement, but in the last six months, we saw the Russians extremely active in threat landscape. The Obama administration had a hands-off agreement with the Chinese not to have attacks against the U.S.-based companies. That has stopped. (laughs) We've just seen seen a significant amount of state actors and a lot of activity as of late. And as we enter 17, we think the threat landscape is going to be worse, not better. Does the, and so it's, does, it's just scary. does the NSA know? I mean, do the oh everybody's everybody knows and everybody's working on this. But, but who else, has, other than you, has got any sort of protection? Well, I think today companies are really working hard on their okay. security posture, and companies are doing a pretty good job. But there's still a long ways to go. But in the, just since I've seen you last, you just announced a industry f- first unified social, mobile, web, and email fraud. I mean, that's how they get to us. That's how I know they right. get to me. No, and, and that's the thing that has been a key growth driver for us is bad actors know that the way to get into companies is not to target the infrastructure anymore. It's to target the individual who is always susceptible to clicking on a file which could be weaponized, has malware in it, or clicking on a link that takes you to a malicious website. And so because of that, companies recognize today they need better protection in that area. And that's what's been driving our growth. Well, one of the things I saw, you, know, you had Summer Olympic figures share them. It's scary. Oh, yeah. The... What we've seen over that period of time is just bad actors preying on these big events and targeting people over not only email, but also over social media. Because people are susceptible. Pokemon again. Go, Super, Super Mario. Yeah. All of Every way in which you can get to an individual, whether it be email, social, or even mobile apps, uh-huh. it is another way to get into a company's network. And what you've been able to do successfully is you'll get in because of email, because everyone knows you're the best at it, right. and then you've got a suite of products that everyone seems to like once you're in. That's right. And we, we now have some really, really exciting results as it relates to our ability to go back to our install base, sell more product, help them better defend themselves against this broad range of threats that are happening. So we're working hard on behalf of our customers today. Now, one of the things that I thought was interesting, there's a, a locky ransomware. There's these actual ransomwares that you know I mean, they're all strange to us, but you just know them? Yeah, so what's happening today is over the course of 16, 70% of malware delivery was ransomware. So ransomware is everywhere. And every two to three days, a new variant, a new kind of ransomware comes out. Locky is just one variant. Right. There's lots of new variants. So why, why do bad actors create keep creating new kinds? Well, because it gets in. It doesn't cost much either. Huh? It costs very little, and you click on ransomware, your drive's encrypted, and you've got to pay a fee to get it back. Oh, now, you had a stat this week. I guess you spoke to a, a, a CFO of a large company earlier this week. 90% of the issues we have come from email? Yeah. So the challenge and the noise for people that haven't got adequate protection is that's where the risks and threats are coming in. They're coming in through email because a bad actor can target you. They can figure out what you're interested in, what's going to be compelling to click on. And so that's one of the reasons, again, that we've seen the growth that we've had. And that's why you have 40% growth, because the bad guys just don't stop. That's right. And there's another big trend that we're benefiting from, which is the cloud. Right. So as more organizations go to the cloud, they have to have cloud-based protection. And so that is just a natural secular trend for us that we're going to see benefit from for many years to come. Okay. um, The cybersecurity executive order? President, anything? I think I think it's good. Okay. Um, you know, it's still in draft form. Right. Um, we'll likely see it. Likely see it in the next few weeks. I think it creates more visibility as it relates to cybersecurity. I think increasing increasing visibility and vigilance around cybersecurity is a good thing. And one last thing: uh, our people who are watching. Anything that you know, tell them right now not to click on. Just because you get an email from somebody 
just make sure you really know who it's coming from because that's probably the place where people are getting um, targeted today right. with these well, you, messages. You've got a very strong business because the bad guys don't quit and you've got the stuff that stops them. That's Gary Steele, the CEO of Proofpoint. You know we like this stock very much. Man Money's back at the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.